Hey, all right, round two, video two, I should say, uh, for Saturday night. Um, man, I hope these videos upload because uh, major progress. Um, it was almost a year ago to the day that I painted the frame for Tessie, which is uh, here uh, undercover right now. Uh, because looky, looky, what I got done today. Holy balls. All right, major progress. Got all the sandblasting done, and two coats of epoxy on everything except for the roof, which I'm gonna deal with at a later date. I'm kind of on a time crunch. I want to get this thing back on the frame. So my goal now is finish the firewall, finish the floors underneath and inside, and get this thing back on the frame, and then I can worry about body work once it's on the frame. Yes, it'd be better to do it when it's up on the rotisserie, but I'd rather just do it on the frame and be done with it and have the stall back. But uh, everything's stripped out really nice. Uh, my last video showed you all the surprising holes, which aren't really that big of a surprise, but it's amazing what primer will hide. You know, it just looks so much cleaner and seamless. You know, I mean, yeah, I got a lot of work to do, don't get me wrong. And the more I'm looking at these quarters, I'm thinking they're going to get lower quarters on both sides. Um, pretty messed up. Um, I taped my lead areas, which I need to deal with later. Um, how cool is that, huh? It's prime time. So, um, I used a different product. Um, this is direct to metal epoxy primer. Turned out great. I mean, yeah, it's dirty and shit, but it had, I mean, there's no way around it. I blew it out as best I could, but from rolling the body on the rotisserie, there's going to be stuff that falls out. There's no way around that. You know that. But uh, everything turned out really good. Obviously, I've got a lot of grinding and some welding to do yet. But the main part is now that it is in primer. And from this point forward, I can make leaps and bounds of progress um, in short periods of time. Um, I think what I'm going to do with these, I decided I'm going to disconnect that, swivel this 180, and make mounts to fit there. Just so I can finish the firewall. And then from there, it's going to be on the body any house or on the frame so it don't matter but um everything looks good even the dash looks good you know I mean nice uncut dash I was thinking I should have actually epoxied this in white um but it's okay you know but yeah obviously I got some stuff to fix yet but seam sealer is going to disguise a lot of this and I'm okay with that this is not a Concours restoration. I'm okay with that. So um, I'm going to celebrate with the beer. But uh, yeah, Tessie is looking good. Looking different. Progress. Love progress. Yeah, look at how rough that corner is. You see that in the video? I don't know, but ugh, black shows everything. So, uh, anywho. Very happy with tonight's progress. I really hope this video uploads. And um, like I said, any chance I get now, when I can get a chance to get out here, I'm going to be working on that firewall and uh, getting the interior floors taken care of and the bottom bottom floors. I could spin this thing. Hold on. And up she goes. Look at that one-handed, guys. Oh, shit. That's as far as she goes, I guess. Yeah, oh well, a little epoxy off there. But, um, I didn't actually spray the whole bottom. I left the e-coat on there, and I'll just clean it and scuff it. Um, it's all going to get truck bed liner underneath. Um, but obviously there's some seam sealing and some patching, and there's pieces that need to be welded in here on both ends, both sides. Um, and back here, I'm just going to re-undercoat. What I did is I took the blaster and I just blasted everything 
whatever was loose obviously came off whichever didn't stayed on there and that's fine I'm, I'm good with that um, there's some patching and some seam sealing I'll just plan to re undercoat with actual undercoat rubberized undercoating from here back in wheel tubs the rest of it I'm gonna do a bed liner well I guess I could do the whole thing with undercoating I guess I don't know, we'll see, but um, it's good enough, you know, and time will tell, ah, just ugly, yeah, this thing's going to get a quarter for sure on this side, I think, so, um, well, I've got to prime that, oh well, it's all going to cut out anyways, um, but yeah, that's, uh, let stand back here, that's as much as I can turn it right now, because I cross braced, um, which I could adjust for, by just cranking the ends up then I gotta watch my door opener so for now that's fine it's plenty of travel I'm down again with it and there she is um, everything went really good today really really good I needed today I needed it really bad um, just to feel less stressed and um, I just felt like I was uh, under the gun a little bit because of weather it's cold out today it's colder it's 52 windy feels like fall so um it's uh that's it that's all i got so you guys all have a great rest of your weekend and uh we'll see you when we see ya thanks for watching